Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. This is the first in this series I believe. Um, hopefully it is because otherwise I'm uh, you know doing this in the wrong order. Um, last we left off we just finished up the tutorial and it seems we found ourselves in a room in a classroom of all things with a note telling us that this school will be our life from now on and we've just made our way out to the hallway. Um, so yeah let's just go ahead and continue. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Uh, oh, so I actually walk around. Interesting. Hold down the shift key while moving to run. Oh, no. Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. Oh, I'm very concerned. Why would I need to run? Oh, and I can run so fast. Um. Oh, this is very disconcerting. I think I'm supposed to go over here? Oh, man. Oh, I just walked in. What is this? By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh, boy. Oh, hey! Another new kid? Oh, I don't know who said that. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Interesting. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but... I wonder if this is everyone. Interesting. I have no clue who's talking. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Okay. Interesting. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just... asleep. Huh? What was his voice? Huh? Whoa, you too? He looks like Shaggy. Hmm, things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. It's so strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right Got now. It. Just a moment! There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Uh. The hell? There's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> maybe, but maybe good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That that that's a good point. Um Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance, as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Oh no, that's one of the worst things I am. I think this is gonna be one of those series where I have to actually look through my, my videos. I mean, I watch them when I edit them, but I'm very forgetful. Okay. Um, she... Okay, both of them kind of look like they would murder us. And this guy seems like he has a stick up his ass, so let's get to know him first. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. I, I can't make that type of voice. So Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Okay. Kiyotaka Ishimaru, Ultimate Moral Compass. Okay. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, 
He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. Okay, um... Oh, I get to see their names before I talk to them. Uh, Hifumi Yamada. This guy looks like me. This, both of these girls are cute, so let's talk to this girl. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Okay. Toko Fukawa, ultimate writing prodigy. Interesting. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovely, lovey dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> oh, okay. What's your problem? Wh what? It's it's not impolite to stare, you know? Or it's not polite to stare. What the heck? Okay, so she's very emotional. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. F filthy creature? No, no. I I just thought. I I I know what you just thought. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just th th thought it was so funny. N no, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to l lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Wh whatever. I don't r r really care. I'm, I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Yeah. Okay, I guess we all have our problems. I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Wow. What a nice voice. I wish I could talk like that. <laughs> Ultimate pop sensation. Ah, okay. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place? Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll. Uh, I already forgot what her voice sounded like. I'm not a doll, you know. Uh, I'm alive! Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding! I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp hey, one. Um... Huh? Hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste your valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... So sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It, it sounded like Saika really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll ever see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Okay then, next guy. Leon Kuwata. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Okay, interesting. He sounds like Beautiful Joe. Ultimate baseball star. Baseball? Okay. I recognize that name. Makoto... Or, oh, blah. He played for the National High School Chants as their cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You... You? Seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? N nothing I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty-looking, traditional baseball player type. 
I mean, I found that article and picture of you online. That's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Aw oh, man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. <laughs> this is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Hey, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally you honest know. with you? I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he st was still his team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. Have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. Oh, that's why he looks like that. <laughs> I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. And then there's me. I mean, Hifumi Yamada. I'm Hifumi Yamada. <laughs> if you want to call me by my oh, nickname, man. the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Oh boy. The Alpha and the Omega. Ultimate fanfic creator? Mm -hmm. By the way, how, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I'm well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic okay. creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. <laughs> Some of them didn't get it. Of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utterly underappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconception about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay then. Okay, now talk to those five people over there. Okay then, tell you guys what, I'll end it here for now. I don't want to make these too long. It looks like we're getting introduced to all these characters. Um, I'm going to inspect this vault as well and these turrets once we get back. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.